I'm Rockville 11's Chris Piper. For this edition of Meet Your Neighbor, we'd like to introduce you to April Shin, the local speed skater who is on the inside track to becoming one of the best in the country. The 2013 World Junior Short Track Speed Skating Championships were held in Warsaw, Poland this past February. Of the more than 150 skaters participating in the competition, eight represented the United States, and one of the Americans was April Shin, a 15-year-old who attends Richard Montgomery High School. It was such a good experience because when I skated around here in the U.S., like I thought it was really big, but when I went to international competition for the first time, I never noticed how many other skaters there were. Like, if you just watch it on the Olympics, it's different. But when you go there and if you experience by, your, by yourself, it's just, it feels like an honor to be there. April qualified for the World Championships after winning the silver medal at the Junior National Competition, which attracted 61 skaters from across the country. Representing her country as well as her city is something that carries me in the show. In a way, it kind of feels like a responsibility, but I try to make it not not to like pressure me as much. And I'm just happy that I was good enough to be able to represent USA and the city of Rockville. Before she could stand on the podium, April had to first learn to stand on her skates. She was first introduced to the sport at a community skate night. When I was nine, I went to a school skate night and I had no idea what speed skating was and then my neighbor who was also Korean he was speed skating like his mom was talking with my mom and he told us that a Olympic skater from Korea is coming to coach us so she said to just try it out and I, was, I just started skating and I kept going from then. And you were just a natural at it? Just... Well I wasn't at first I fell a lot but, and then I got better by every day. The Olympian turn coach April would go on the skate under was Dong Sung Kim, an Olympic gold medalist and former world champion from South Korea. My first coach, he, like, as I told you, he was an Olympian before. Well, he was kind of a strict coach and everyone was really scared of him. So when he, every time he told me good job, it was like, it made me so happy and it made me want to skate more and he moved away to Korea recently so and I told him that I made the junior team and he told me I did good and he said your next goal is the Olympics so keep skating hard and all that and it just made me so happy to like know that he still is there. Before she takes her position against the other skaters, April often finds herself battling her most familiar of opponents, her nerves. Right before the races, I'm like extremely nervous. But then when I get on the ice, like it just becomes so serious. And like when people are cheering, I can't hear anything but my coach and the side. So I feel like, I mean, it just like mutes out the whole world. In a sport so intense that it has been referred to as NASCAR on ice, the difference between finishing first and finishing last can be a fraction of a second. Something Shin says is less about physical attributes and more about mental grit. I'm not a certain, I guess you need you have all of them. But I think I guess it's your mind, I guess, because when you think like there's a problem, you keep thinking about it and you think you can't do it. So like I know people who are like, oh, my legs are sore, so I can't skate that well today, and they do bad. And there's some people who are like, my blades messed up, and they just mess up. But if you can like, kind of like, win like those challenges, I guess, that's what makes you a greater skater. Mental strength. And you would say you have a lot of that. I'm working on it. <laughs> For now, her ability has landed her in the top 15 of speed skaters in the country, but April has her sights set on the future. Well, 
since I got third at this nationals, my ranking went up. So it's possible that in April of next year, I think, I'm going to be going to Olympic trials for 2014 Olympics. So I'm training for that right now, but I'm not sure yet. While Aprilshin has enjoyed a multitude of individual successes, she knows she would not be where she is today without the support of the Dominion Speed Skating Club. Like, my club, it's not just a club with friends and stuff. Like, it feels like a family, and I don't feel like I'm missing out in social life when I go to practices and stuff, because I get to meet all of my friends, and people will feel like my family all the time. You always come, they have those moments, but if you just get past that little struggle, it gets, lot, it gets a lot better. You just have to fight through that struggle 